Chris, Tom Dora, tell me about your prospects of winning this fight. This is uh, it's an exciting fight. We've got an undefeated fighter, 17 and 0. Uh, he wants to keep his O. He wants that British title, but he's gonna have to uh, he's gonna have to move he's gonna have to move mountains to, to get it from me because I'm not ready to give it up. Um, but it'll be a, it'll be an interesting fight. They always are. You've shown a tremendous amount of respect in this day and age for the British title, winning the Lonsdale Belt, winning three victories back to back. Is that commonplace? Is that you know is that something that people don't really put as much stock and value in these days? Is what commonplace? The attitude towards winning the, the Lonsdale Belt. Well, it, you know, I'm I'm a proud Brit. I'm a patriot, so uh, it meant a, a great deal for me to to come away and with that belt. It's something that I've always dreamed of winning. Saying I saying I am British champion, champion of Britain. Um, I don't know what it means to other fighters, but to me it meant a great deal, and that's why uh, you know we we chose to go that route instead of uh, fighting for uh, a world title. Um, at that time, but now we've got that. Now, we're, now everything's you know said and done. We want to make our way towards fighting for that world title, and Golovkin's our man. Um, and in the meantime, while that fight is being made, we'll we'll defend the belt as many times as possible. Important to clean up your own backyard, don't you think? One hundred percent. That you know, I'm I'm British, and I want to, and, and the British public, uh, and the British boxing, they want to see domestic fights. You know, because. It's, you know, it's, it's different when you're fighting guys who they don't know or when they're from different countries, it's, kind of like, it's less exciting. When it's two British guys fighting, then it just makes the occasion more special, more interesting. Um, so, you know, very important to clean up the, you know, the, the middleweight division in, in your own country and then move on to World Honours, which is what I'm doing. Huge disparity between GGG and Tom Doran, though, in terms of quality. So I guess you think you're going to walk through this fight. Is that pretty much how you're going to go? And what do you see in Tom's arsenal that could prevent you from doing that? I honestly haven't seen him fight. I don't know anything about the guy. Um, people are telling me he's a brawler. Uh, apparently he got, he got put down in his last fight and came back to win. So he's got heart, which is what he needs against a man like me. Um, uh, I will go back, I'll study his, study his, uh, his fights and, and see where his weaknesses are. Uh, see what I can, you know, what I feel the best game plan would be. But, um, you know, this is... Uh, not a warm up, but it's you know this is keeping me uh, at a nice level uh, until I can step up to fight these these uh, world level fighters. I can't just sit around and wait. You know I have to I have to be active, and uh, this guy's a solid opponent, so it'll be a good fight. I also saw in the press release that you you know you're happy to be associated or on the same bill as Anthony Joshua. I mean, from a marketing perspective, and I said this to Eddie as well, it was good to position your brand next to the strongest in the marketplace. Is that how you see this? Sorry, sorry. This is the strongest brand. Okay. Come in, come in, come in. Come in, come in, come in. No, 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 come on, come on. This is the strongest brand. It's 25 years old. Ani Joshua is, uh, you know, a great up and coming fighter. Well, he's a world champion now, so we can't even say that. He's there. Um, and uh, I think me and him make a great British double act. So, uh, you know, he, he's doing great things. I'm doing great things. So now we can do great things together. I, I mean, I, just for the record, I, I love the way you're carrying your career and uh, commanding the strength that you are. All the promoters want to work with you, obviously. Um, in terms of the British domestic scene, do you think you get the respect that you deserve from them? And do you care about that? Um, I, you know, you'd have to ask them. I mean, in my, in, from what I see on a day-to-day -day basis with people coming up to me in the street and on social media, um, you know, people are really understanding and really behind me. They're really understanding what I'm doing and, and that this isn't a gimmick now. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm putting in these these performances. I'm inspiring people and I'm I'm I'm, I'm putting on great fights. You know, I'm dedicating myself. All you have to do is go on my Snapchat and see me. I'm on your Snapchat. Bro. Yeah, see the see the training I'm doing day in and day out. Even when I haven't got fights coming up, um, and people do respect that. So uh, I'm, you know, I'm the haters, the doubters. A lot of them are starting to, you know, slowly turn turn over, and uh, that's what it's all about. It's about turning people into believers. How many times do you think you're going to fight again for the rest of the year? Obviously, we've mentioned in the press conference the August 29th. Is that right? Well, there's next, there's uh, you know, this next coming fight, August or July, um, and then September. So you know, hope th three, four more times, hopefully. You know, is your fight on Showtime as well as part of this promotional deal? I have no idea. How important is it for you to endear yourself to that American market so they can see your skills, your ability? Well, you know, if you have the talent and you have the skill, then um, 
you know the boxing fans will they'll find you and they'll they'll get behind you um, you know as far as me fighting on in America or on American TV that's great you know um, British boxing is is very strong right now we've got a lot of great fighters out here uh, in all weight divisions so we're really we are flying the flag so um, you know, I, I, I definitely think we're competing if not um, overtaking America in, in boxing. Why GGG? Because he's seen as the number one guy in my weight division and uh, he's seen as this you know uh, this, this unbeatable uh, you know guy who everyone's scared of mm. and I don't see it I don't see that. I was, that was gonna be my next question I mean why, why don't you share that opinion? I don't I don't see it I watch his fights and I see I see uh, I see I see slow I see slowness I see, um, I see a weak defense. I see great punching power. Definitely. Um, but, you know, what happens when the guy takes the punch and says, okay, now what? Which is what I will do if I get hit by his slow punches. Um, speed kills. You know, for every one punch he throws, I'm gonna be throwing three, four, five punches. So the only way he could beat me is if he knocks me out. And, you know, you're gonna have to hit me with a sledgehammer to, to move me. So uh, that's where that, that's where I get my confidence from against a man like that. Even if, if you do make that fight happen um, and you get through it and you win successfully, would that be it for you in this division? Because obviously, Dad's called out James the girl today. Um, I'd like to see that fight happen in the future. How far away from that are we happening? From? No, um, I'm not really looking past. I'm not looking past uh, in, in, in terms of being a super middleweight. I'm not looking past what I've got to do in the middleweight division yet. This is something that, uh, when I decide to move up, we will start looking at. Um, it's a great potential fight, and uh, you know a lot of the people, a lot of the public want to see it, and I and I want to get in there and settle the difference because, um, you know, we've got a history, me and the girl. Uh, he said things, I've said things. So we, we, need to, we need to lay that all to rest and just go and then settle it like men. But, um, you know, after the, after the Gennady Golovkin fight, if it happens, um, I'm not gonna just, I'm not gonna say, oh, I wanna move to super middleweight because you, you can't say stuff. Of course. Like that. You've, gotta, you've gotta just look at where you are and, 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 and see what opportunities are there. Um, but, you know, that's definitely a future fight. So, Tom Dora, fight in August. Would you like to end the year with some kind of Billy Joe? Or? If, if we can't get Golovkin at the end of the year, listen, boxing's boxing, you know, things fall through, there's disagreements, there's, there's setbacks. If, if, if for whatever reason we can't get Saunders, I mean uh, Golovkin, Saunders is the man. Those are the only two names I hear people telling me every day. When are you going to fight Gennady? When are you going to fight Saunders? In fact, Saunders probably I get even more than Gennady Golovkin because of our history. So. How much have you improved since that Saunders fight? I mean, look at my fights. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm asking you because I can look at your fights and I can see. I want to know from your perspective how you're feeling mentally, physically. How much of you I'm, fine tuned? I'm ten times the fighter I was when I fought Saunders. Um, Experience-wise, ability-wise, you know, that was my first 12-round fight, and um, I paced myself too early on in the fight. Uh, now I know I can go 12 rounds uh, at blistering speed and pace, and be able to, you know, keep going all the way up until the 12th. Uh, and that's, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm, I'm doing it time and time again now. And it would not change once I get into that fight, uh, once I get a fight with Saunders, when that fight does happen, um, it will be from round one. It won't be from round six like it was the first time. All right, well, good luck. Good luck uh, against Tom Doran as well. Uh, well. You make your own. You make your own. Yeah. Okay. Bless, sir. Eh?